Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the iSwift, which claims to be the world's smallest folding laptop desk that you can use in bed when working from home comfortably, as well as using it to pop up the computer or laptop at a higher angle that is more ergonomic to your eyes and posture when you're working. So typically laptop desks uh, are made out of wood or plastic and they're pretty bulky and large, but again, this one is using almost this folding origami design, but it claims to still be sturdy enough to get work done and can also act as a stand for tablets and phones as well. So the entire design seems to be quite clever, really lightweight, and reminds me a little bit of Moft, which was this folding laptop stand that we also reviewed a while back, except this one is more than just a stand, it's also a full-blown desk that you can, again, type on and position the computer at a much higher angle even if you put it on your lap. It claims to also be wear resistant if you have some water splashed on it and just seems to be a very versatile companion. It is actually currently live on crowdfunding at the moment through Kickstarter and it sells for $69, which admittedly I do think is a little on the pricey side since the cost of materials I don't think is definitely that high. It's really the design that is unique and drawing your attention. If they can somehow mass produce this to bring the cost lower, I think it would be almost perfect for anyone as a gift. But it is what it is. You can find some additional details and specs. It is, again, really slim when you fold it down. You can easily take it with you in a backpack when on the go and just store it somewhere without taking up any space. There's two different heights that you can position it to from 7.5 inches to 8.6 inches. Here's a demo of how those two heights look like. So in terms of the packaging, it is pretty well presented. It comes with this folio case, like a laptop case almost. And then the actual stand, we can just slide out from the edges, again like a laptop case. The design is indeed really slim, and it's made of a rubberized plastic material that feels fairly sturdy but also lightweight. It has a nice texture on the top, which has a little bit of a grip to it. We do have the iSwift logo imprinted on the top there, and then pretty much nothing else on the other side, which is just how you fold it together using the magnets. There is a quick instruction paper also included that tells you how to set it up at the different angles. Let's demonstrate the desk mode. It simply will fold outwards like this and then pop the internal part open. This is actually the first angle, but you can also fold this part continuously back, lock that into place for the tallest desk mode, which is again 8.5 inches. It's locked into place pretty securely, I'd say, using magnets. And now we have the desk fully assembled. Here's what it looks like from the edge. In fact, there is enough space underneath that just like the photos that we saw from earlier in their campaign, you are able to successfully put your legs in between this if you're just wearing, you know, pants or pajamas. So it is wide enough in most cases. And if we put kind of a laptop on top of it, this is a 12 inch laptop, so it's still pretty compact and small and it is holding the weight quite well. I can push down on it and I can type on this keyboard. Everything is still is actually quite responsive, not adding too much flex or uh, anything concerning in terms of working on the surface actually feels quite good. The material here is again slightly grippy as well, so it doesn't slide around even if you put it onto a, a flat table, something like that. I have three computers and tablets stacked on top of each other and the weight again is not collapsing or anything, but there might be a slight dip towards the middle section of the desk as you can see there, but it doesn't really impede the rigidity of the structure as a whole, but just because the weight is more supported on the left and the right side. What I will say though is the space here is still a little limited just because they're going for a compact design. So if you have a laptop which is a bit smaller, you can still probably fit something like a mouse on the side, but it's going to be pretty tight in terms of space. Um, so depending on if you have a larger computer, using another separate mouse on this desk will still not give you kind of the best experience. Uh, but you can still fit some small objects, also a water bottle on the side, and that will still work. Here's a profile view from the side, and one exception though might be certain convertibles, like say a Surface that has a kickstand, you have to be a bit more cautious because sometimes it requires more uh, vertical space, so as a result it can't really support the kickstand if you're trying to position it all the way back. You can see how it will take up too much of the width and will fall off from the table there. So that is one thing to keep in mind. For most conventional laptops that have a typical hinge, it's not going to be an issue. It's still workable though, and better than putting a Surface directly on your lap, not to mention the elevated height, so now it's almost eye level if you're sitting down and making it a lot more ergonomic without having to bend your neck down, which can create some neck tension and potential issues like fatigue over long periods of time. Let's try changing it to the other angle, so that can be adjusted just by tilting it towards the side, and the other edge can also be pushed to the side, and now we have it transformed into the 7.5 
uh, inch height. The only thing to keep in mind in this mode though is there's not as much space in between the legs, so if you are trying to put it on your lap, it might be a little tight to squeeze it in. Still, it's quite steady and once again, there's no issues in terms of flexing. Last but not least, as a stand for a tablet, uh, all you need to do is put back one of the sides of the legs and just use one of them as the stand part and you would just put your tablet on here like this and it can catch the tablet and prevent it from falling over as you can see there. And you can further play around with some of the angles and adjustments as you see fit and overall it works well enough as a basic stand but uh, of course in this mode it does take up a bit more space than other kickstands that we've seen since there is also the desk portion below it but it provides a flat surface at least so you can still put this onto bed and it won't topple over or anything like that if you're trying to use a iPad on it. What I will say though is this stand works best for larger tablets, so if you have something that's too small like a 7 inch tablet or a phone, it's not going to fully reach the other side. So that's more or less it as far as our hands on review of the iSwift laptop work desk that is just a super discreet easy to take with you when traveling. Allows you to get more work done if you're on a sofa, if you're in bed, so you can check out more details if you're interested in the links below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the iSwift Swift folding laptop desk.